Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to fix this error message and you can see that here we have a uh, uh, custom uh, validation custom validation function for the first letter uppercase and here we have an error message in Angular like that uh, just when we uh, move our cursor on that error then uh, display a tooltip like that not all code path return a value not all code path return a value in typescript typescript 7030 and you can say that uh, the same error we problem alt f8 but uh, you can notice that in the tooltip not all code path return a value ts7030 uh, 1030 is the type of uh, error message and you notice that uh, it's a function and just I am returning the last that is the value and here we have also the return statements so but how to resolve that type of error if you got any type of error, error related uh, this error message that is not all code path return a value in TypeScript file in Angular then you can say that your TypeScript file is looking like that TypeScript uh, .json file right here, and you notice that no, uh, not impli uh, you can say that no implicit returns right here. Uh, here we have no implicit. Uh, you can search. Uh, oops, right here. And strictly template, strictly input modifiers. Uh, and you can say that no implicit returns no implicit returns right here and here we have uh, that is the no implicit return is true the complaint is that the first if is missing an else block because the first if that is the first if it, it is the complaint is first if missing an else block okay with the return statement you can disable the behavior in the TypeScript file. So just uh, disable the TypeScript file that is false. If no implicit return is false, then you can say that your problem will be resolved automatically like that. So save this file. Thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core, Angular and TypeScript.